On this example, we're asked to simplify a trigonometric expression. Uh, this one happens to be a rational expression. To do so, I think the easiest way is gonna be using our sum to product formulas. You'll notice in our numerator, we have a cosine plus another cosine. So I'm gonna use our addition of cosines, um, the sum of cosines formula. And for our denominator, we have a sine minus a sine. That's pointing us towards the sine of alpha minus the sine of beta. So I'm gonna utilize that formula for that part. All right, so identifying everything, I'm gonna visualize this as being my alpha and this as being my beta as I plug into our cosine plus cosine formula. So this will end up being two cosine of alpha seven X plus beta X all over two multiplied by cosine of alpha seven X minus beta x all over two. For our denominator, we're gonna be utilizing uh, alpha and beta to go along with this formula where alpha and beta are located. So this will be two sine of alpha minus beta, so seven x minus x divided by two, multiplied by cosine of alpha plus beta, so seven X plus X all over two. Okay, from here, let's think about what reducing down can we do? Well, inside of our fractions, inside of the sets of parentheses, we can do some reducing down there. We'll also be able to cancel out, those twos are being multiplied by both the entire numerator and the entire denominator. So let's cancel those out. This will give us cosine of eight X divided by two, just combining like terms and cosine of six X divided by two. For our denominator, we'll end up with sine of six X divided by two multiplied by cosine of eight X divided by two. Now we can take a little bit of time and reduce down like eight X divided by two is gonna be four X's times cosine of six X divided by two is gonna be three X's. Now we have sine of three X's reducing down cosine of four X's. So what I notice is since everything's multiplied together, we've got products in the numerator and the denominator, it's okay to cancel out. We have a common factor, cosine of four X and cosine of four X. This is gonna leave us with cosine of three X divided by sine of three X. This will further reduce down uh, using our quotient identities that tangent is sine over cosine. So that means that cotangent is cosine over sine. So it'll be cotangent of three X. All right, so as you're getting to simplifying these down, just take your time, pick out the appropriate formula, plug in, reduce down as much as you can, and then think about what do we have in common between numerator and denominator? usually end up with something pretty reasonable um, that's going to be either a reciprocal identity or a quotient identity like ours was. All right, hope this helps out as you're uh, reducing down. Doing well on these. Good luck.